Can you talk about your personal journey and how it led you to where you are today? In the beginning, you know, most people cannot remember when they were two, three, four, five, six years old. I can. I can remember the weather, I can remember the smells, the sounds. Oh, you're the, one of the sisters, right? Yeah. Um, <laughs> chin down. Down, look over my Okay, now relax. Relax your head. Oh, yeah, I see The sounds of the locust uh, in Texas to the, the smells of the, just growing up of the house, the grass. When it comes to my healing in this personal journey, I do remember it was probably around six or seven years old. My granddad, um, he he had a problem with his hands and they hurt. I'm only about six or seven years old, but I remember my parents worrying. And there is a special love between a child and their grandparents. It's a different kind of love. It's not the same love as you have for your parents. And most of you can agree with that. But when my grandfather told my parents that, you know, his hands hurt, and uh, my parents were worried, uh, it's only natural for me to worry. And I was thinking, oh man, if my grandfather's hands doesn't work, we can't go fishing. So I patiently watched and I look at my grandfather and, and nothing was happening. And we already, I think, you know, they probably already went to the doctor because the US military covered by, you know, they have insurance, you know, you just go to the doctor on the base. Because ah. in Western medicine, a cured patient is a lost customer. Type O blood? I can feel it in your bones. I remember reaching out to his fingers and squeezing it on his finger and they were hard like rocks. It was the first time I learned what arthritis was. And um, my grandfather looked at me and said, I'll give you 30 minutes. And that their old, very, very old grandfather clock chimed. And it was very old. It was like from Germany after the war. It had this deep, deep chime. I kept touching and squeezing and seeing if, making my mind see if I can get those fingers to work. And the grandfather clock chimed every 30 minutes and it went off. And then my grandfather, his hands moved and I saw, you know, the facial expression of, wow. And he gave me the other hand and said, I'll give you another 30 minutes. So after that next 30 minutes, same thing happened and grandfather took me fishing. My concern, you know, as a child was, you know, the well-being, but I want my grandfather really to take me fishing, to the catfish hole. And inside my mind, I want my grandfather's hands to work because if they work, we can go fishing. That's the innocent mind of a child. It's not necessarily praying or wishing, but it was manifesting me and my grandfather going fishing. Relax this one. Ugh. I say that fishing with a, not fishing, I say fishing because I grew up in Texas. Uh, sabi ko, what if uh, matry ito? 
baka ito yung uh, solution, no? And this was how long? God damn, an hour and a half? <laughs>